Hi, today I'm going to show you how to put together the Cone Santa SVG file from Simply Crafty SVGs. So we're going to start with the body. And um, I don't like doing round cones because they're harder for people to assemble. So th this is a little bit um, difficult scoring it, but I'm going to show you like the trick. You're going to score on the score lines, whether it be dashed or solid. Um, you just want to start from the bottom part. So the widest part portion. So from left to right when you're looking at this, if you start there and kind of push upward, it'll kind of create the fold at the top. But the top will adjust itself. So it gets really fine at the top. Um, but if you just kind of follow the line from the bottom, um, the left to the right, and when I say the bottom, because that's the bottom of the Santa, and just continue around there. So there's lots, I wanted to look around, but I didn't want it to be as hard to assemble as I find round or rounded 3D projects. Um, I'm not a fan sometimes just because of the difficulty they could be for some people. It's hard for me because of my f small fingers sometimes. I have a hard time with them, so that's the reason why there's folds still in it. So this is a little bit harder to get this last tab folded. So again, you kind of want to start at the bottom, kind of line up there. Because you're not going to be adding glue to the really tippy top. It's going to be pretty much, you'll see it angle up. So when we glue it, we're going to add glue to that. It's easier with the fine tip, really. You don't want much glue. And I got my wooden chopstick out as this will help us apply pressure to this tab from inside because you can't reach all the way in but you want to start at the bottom line it up at the bottom here that edge to the tab fold and then you're going to carefully kind of line it up as you can go up with as far as you can with your fingers so I'm just applying pressure with my fingers on the outside inside and then I'm just kind of lining it up, kind of pressing it so it's shut a little bit because I, I want to get it lined up to where it needs to be. And then put the chopstick in. And then you can apply additional pressure on the ch chopsticks all the way to the tip. So I can apply pressure against even the thinnest portion of that tab towards the top. Now there's always going to be a little teeny weeny gap at the top. Oh, it's not teeny weeny, just a slight gap. But, you know, you put that in the back of the design. So I did want it to look round, so I still kept the panels uh, roundish, so you don't see any folds other than this little cut line there in the tab. So we're just rubbing it to give it a curl, to curl it around. And it's going to go around like this. So you don't have to place it exactly. What we're going to do is glue these sides together. So you're going to fold it on the two cut lines. I didn't make it a score line. I made it a cut line for whoever's going to use it. So you know to line up that edge to the cut line there for the tab. And then I found the easiest thing is make sure that the it lines up to the the back. But you're just going to drop it down. But you want to make sure that that where you adhered it, where you glued it together, the seam is lined up with the back seam of the um, of the body part, the cone. So I'm going to add just a really slight bead of glue in the middle. Now, when you're putting this down, first of all, make sure it's lined up properly before you start sliding it down. And be careful not to hit the sides too much as you go down because you don't want glue going everywhere. But this is the easiest way to put it on. Now you could glue it on going around, but this just kind of puts it in place. And then you can just flip it around and apply pressure. I didn't want this to be a hard design. You just have to be careful when you put it on, when you slide it down to the middle. And then here we're going to do the same thing with the hat. Now the hat... We're using it, we need to place where the top of the hat's going to go so we know where to put the face. So I had to get the, shut the glue for a minute here, get the glue. I'm going to get a pencil. And we're going to curl it here. We're going to 
glue this shut just like we did the belt. And again, you want to align that seam, that right here, the seam. We want to align it to the back seam of the cone. And they're going to slide it down to figure out how far it goes. I would put a line right there. Don't put it any higher. Just put a line below it. And that's where you want to put the you want to put the top of the face. So you might want to go a little higher with the face than the than the pencil line. So let's get that ready. So the one that's going to go underneath that, but we need to put the red underneath the mouth. So we're just going to glue that piece down. If you have textured paper, make sure the textured part is facing uh, to the front. Then I'm going to curl it just like I did the other pieces because we want the curve around and so we can glue it easily. And that's going to go underneath there. So I want to curl that and that's the one we're going to place first. So we're finding our pencil line there. And you want to go a little bit higher because we want we want to the the top of the hat, the hat rim to come over the edge of the face. So the higher you go, the looser that hat rim is. So you could go just a smidge and higher, a little bit more higher than that. So you don't want to line it up exactly. I could have went just a little bit higher, but you see how the the bottom of that face piece is centered right there. So I'm at, added glue to that, and I'm just kind of holding it. This is you need to hold these pieces the longest because you can't really apply that much pressure. So you just want to hold them until they are adhered. You make sure you get glue to the edges as possible, the right and left edge, else they lift up. And you can see that. I'm just adding a little dab of glue there to get it down further. Because I didn't go further. I just didn't want glue le leakage. But because it's we're kind of trying to forcing a round piece around a little kind of a scored cone takes a second. Of course, there's nothing inside to really hold it, so you can apply pressure. So that's going to go around that, and the edge of the beard is going to match up to the edges of face. So I'm just really curling it to make sure it curls around. So when we glue it on. And that the bottom of the beard will be centered as well on that little piece. And you can see it's centered on one of the panels. The little scored sections, I should say. So you see I'm just lightly adding glue to the right and left towards the top and around the bottom portion. I mean the top portion of the back of the beard. Because it doesn't need to be glued on the bottom. We kind of want it hanging off. So you can see I'm kind of, I lined it up to the edges of the face. And again, with the face, I'm holding it in place. And then I applied a little, rubbed it very lightly on the facial part to get that to stick down. This is probably the hardest part, in my opinion, is the uh, making sure that it gets nice and glued onto the around the cone. And then make sure again that I'm just dry fitting it. But you want to make sure that the seam on your hat rim is aligned to the back seam. So it slides over and you can see it's going to hide because I put it a little higher than where it was. The pencil mark, it'll the facial part will go underneath this rim. So I'm just putting a little light piece of glue now I didn't make sure that it was lined up 
So if you don't, it doesn't fit right. You see how that goes like that? So I rotate it really quickly, but make sure it's lined up and get the excess glue off. And then try to get it over the edge of the face. Because you don't want it drying before. You don't want to see, you know, the red below, above the face. Um, below the rim, I should say. In the back, that's fine, but... So here are the eyes. So these are really small pieces. Um, put a little dot of glue. I put excess glue there. And I'm just using this pick-me-up tool to place that little black piece in place there. And then add a little bit of glue. You could draw this in too. You don't always have to use the cut pieces. Or you could put googly eyes. Googly eyes would be fun on this thing little ones so before we put the eyes on we're going to just curl I'm just going to curl this uh, mustache a little bit I'm going to use a glue dot I thought that was the easiest because of the shape of the project we're working on I have little mini glue dots um, which you can just it comes in different forms but in this roll I just kind of it usually comes in a in a box in a roll but I took it out because it's easier for me to push down on the roll. So I put two glue dots here and that's going to go over it. So what you want to do is when you place this, you want to place this over the top of the mouth. You want to go a little bit further right there. And then we'll add the nose on top of it. Again I'm going to use uh, glue dots. Those are the minis that I'm using for this. You could pop it up too if you had like a little pop-up dots, foam dots. And then we'll place them. I'm just using that so I know where I'm going to put it. You could always uh, put a little pencil marks if you need like to know exactly where you're going to put them. That was a reminder. And then we're going to use glue dots again and just place them on left and right here. And then the last thing we're going to add um, is the, the belt. And um, I think it's just easy enough to put a glue dot on either side or glue on either side. Just You don't have to put a lot of anything on there just to attach it to the belt piece. And I have it curved, so just make sure it's curved. Put on with the curve. And then just apply it below that. And that's it. It's just an easy project. Um, it's fun. And um, I personally, one of my uh, more fun Santas that I've made in the past. So I hope you liked it. Um, I enjoyed making it. And thank you so much for watching.